I couldn't get no sleep. And they told me to stay away from the comments and I couldn't. As thousands sounded off on social media. But the ghetto was disturbing to me because nothing about me and my son is ghetto. We take pride in being classy. And it was more of a classy thing than anything because I wasn't even in first class and I turned coach to first class. Hello, how you guys doing? I hope all is well. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Gossip Girl, XOXO. So it was a picture that went viral. It was of the mother and her son. They were on the airplane, right? And they were eating some seafood. But guess what? They got some good praise and they got a lot of backlash. So now now the mother and the son they are speaking out and they want to let you guys know they are not ghetto all right this is a very interesting interview so make sure you leave comments below check this video out in the city now this story is sure to make your mouth water this picture here lighting up social media featuring two brooklynites enjoying some good old seafood while traveling to las vegas this is the way to travel thousands of feet up in the air they still got their seafood news 12's phil tate tonight met with this dynamic duo telling him this isn't anything new there's more to this story check it out like mom we're in the shade room she's like who's throwing shade at me i was like no mom's the shade room camille pratt couldn't believe it this photo of him and mom susie aboard a flight to las vegas sizzling up social media months later breaking bread in the air was something like normal it was just regular because we always do it you know we actually do it bigger than that. The two traveling with family, having a full-on seafood boil thousands of feet in the air, catching the eyes of passengers, even the flight attendant who they say snapped the photo. Oh, they was just like smiling and you know, it was just a lot of positivity. Like people was running up, taking our photos. Like we felt like stars. But for Susie, she says while the photo stunned social media, she has been doing this since the age of eight. Never flew without my seafood. Every time I fly, I bring seafood. I never had a seafood less flight. Even taking her favorite finger licking food. I would bring seafood into water parks for my daughter's birthday. For the past two days, many wondering how the crab legs made it past security. TSA lets anybody in with food. It does not matter what your food is. They will allow you to bring your food. But a family tradition hit Susie to the core. I couldn't get no sleep. And they told me to stay away from the comments and I couldn't. As thousands sounded off on social media. But the ghetto was disturbing to me because nothing about me and my son is ghetto. We take pride in being classy. And it was more of a classy thing than anything because I wasn't even in first class and I turned coach to first class. And they say they'll continue to cook first class meals for others with their local business claws. Of making seafood, um, the flavor, the fun making it, it's very simple, quick. This dynamic duo still has the seafood sizzling, but they tell me that their next big goal is to cook for Wendy Williams. Now we're here in Bed-Stuy, Phil Tate, News 12. In the city now, this story is sure to make your mouth water. This All right, so let us know how you guys feel about that. Make sure you guys leave a comment and I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Gossip Girl. XOXO. Bye.